Welcome to my super easy Dark Dungeons Chimps Guide. There are no RNG rounds, and there are no difficult actions required. As long as you don't miss any steps, I'm sure you'll beat it on the first try. Place the dart as low as possible, and make sure his hair barely touches the black tile. Place this dart as far to the right as possible, and make sure that the white outlining around his feet touches the black line on the tiles. Place this dart as high up as possible, and make sure his range indicator is touching the black line in the center of the track. On round seven, activate the right trap when a balloon starts leaking. Place this dart as low as possible and make sure his range indicator is touching the black line of the track. On round eight, activate the left trap when a balloon starts leaking. On round nine, upgrade the sender dart to 010. Next, place a new dart on the left side as high as possible, making sure the gap between his hand and foot is centered on the black line on the tiles. Now, set all three bottom darts on strong. On round 10, simply place a dart monkey above the middle dart monkey and position it as much to the right as possible. Round 11 and 12 are free. On round 13, place Geraldo as high and to the right as possible and set him on strong. Make sure to place him before the round ends. On round 14, place nails on the left and right sides of the track and activate the right trap when balloons start leaking. On round 15, set the rightmost dart on strong and place a shooty turret. and activate the left trap when balloons start leaking. Place a shooty turret on the left side on round 16. Round 17 is free. On round 18, Place nails on the center track and another shooty turret on the right side. On round 19, place a druid on the left side and set it on strong. Round 20 is free. Place nails on the right side on round 21. Then place another druid in the center and set him on strong. Round 22 is free. Upgrade the center druid to 010 on round 23 and place another shooty turret on the left side. At this point, almost all trap activations are optional. So if you want, you can activate the left trap on round 24 for the camo balloon. Round 25 is free. Round 26 is also free. However, in very rare cases, 
the shooty turrets may start shooting up instead of down. If that happens, you can activate the right trap. Upgrade the center druid to 030 on round 27. And upgrade him to 130 on round 28. Just make sure he's still set to strong. Upgrade the left druid to 110 on round 30. Round 31 and 32 are free. On round 33, place nails on the left and center tracks. Then give the 130 druid a camo potion and set him on first. Upgrade the left druid to 130 on round 34. Make sure this druid is still set to strong. Round 35 is free. On round 36, place an ace as low as possible and upgrade it to 001. Also, activate the right and left traps as soon as the round starts for extra safety. Upgrade the ace to 002. On round 37, there's a brief pause in balloon spawning signaling that camo balloons are up next. You should activate both the left and right traps as soon as they appear. Now upgrade the ace to 003 and then 203 during rounds 38 and 39. On round 40, place the ace as high up as possible and give him a jar of pickles. And place a blade trap near the track exit. Round 41 is free. Give the ace a camo potion on round 42. On round 43, place a village as far to the right side as possible and upgrade it to 200. On round 45, Activate the left and right traps when camo balloons spawn, just for safety. Upgrade the village to 202 on round 46, and place a 320 alchemist as far to the left as possible. Round 47 and 48 are free. Place three hot sauces on round 49, one on Caraldo, one on the Druid, and one on a shooty turret. Round 50 through round 52 are free. On round 53, place a camo potion on the ace and place glue on the right and center tracks.
round 54 through round 56 are free. Place a jar of pickles on the ace on round 57 and activate the left trap if needed. Upgrade the ace to 204 on round 59. Round 60 through 62 are free. On round 63, place glue on the right track and upgrade the alchemist to 420. Do not upgrade the alchemist before round 63. Also, Activate the traps if needed. Place a spike factory as much in the corner as possible and upgrade it to 004 as we cruise to round 67. On round 67, place a camo potion on the ace. Now, round 68 through 70 are free. On round 71, simply glue the right and left tracks. And now it's smooth sailing from here until round 76. On round 76, glue the right track and activate both traps. Round 77 is free. Place a camo potion on the ace on round 78 and glue the right and left tracks. Additionally, Activate both the right and left traps when the ceramic rush spawns at the start of the round. And activate them again when the camo ceramic rush spawns. On round 79, set both druids on first. Then upgrade the spike factory to 005 and then to 025 as fast as possible. Round 80 is free. On round 81, place a sharpening stone on both the spike factory and the ace. Then, position an alchemist within range of the village and upgrade him to 420. Round 82 is free. On round 83, place one ice monkey on the left side and one on the right side, upgrading both to 110. Glue the right and left tracks. And finally, place five nails on the right 
between the candles. Now place a 002 village and a 013 glue as low as possible and set the glue on strong. On round 85, Place the ace in the top right corner. Upgrade the village to 202. Purchase a 204 boomerang and set him on strong. On round 87, place another 204 boomerang and set him on strong. Rounds 88 and 89 are free. We're almost there. Just a few more steps to go. Keep your focus. We've got this. On round 90, apply one hot sauce to each ice monkey. Glue the left and right tracks and place five nails on the left track and five on the right track. On round 91, give the spike factory an ace a sharpening stone. Also, provide the ace with a jar of pickles. Lastly, position a creepy idol on the left side. On round 92, set the spike factory on smart. Then, place a 002 village and a 204 tax shooter. Give the tax shooter a sharpening stone and a jar of pickles. And finally, give one hot sauce to Geraldo and one to the druid. Buy a 420 Alchemist on round 93. Round 94 is free. On round 95, give the Ace and one Druid a Camo Potion. Place five nails on the right side. Give a tower in the center hot sauce. Upgrade the village to 302 and place a 030 alchemist and set it on strong. On round 96,
place two creepy idols. Apply hot sauce to the center towers. Give the ace a jar of pickles. Finally, place a 013 glue and set him on strong. Round 97 is free. On round 98, place two genie bottles. Use a hot sauce and give the tech shooter a jar of pickles. This setup is so ridiculously strong, I doubt the balloons will reach the spike factor. Round 99 is free. For round 100, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to be extra safe, you can buy a 040 sub and place a few blade traps near the end of the track. I'm not using the sub ability to show how safe it really is. Anyway, congratulations on black bordering dark dungeons. You superstar. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.